This is Seth Meth CS, and this is what I built. It is an all-in-one hydronic system. Inside, it's an evaporative cooler, a hydronic cooler, and a plum that dips into a river or lake to transfer heat into the water. There, this is a all-in-one system. There are three pumps that power each operation that I plan to wire with their own individual switches. There's a float switch and a full evaporative cooling system built in. To power the movement of heat transfer in a dry climate, I use a tornado fan by Road Pro. and an ice chest to contain the water and ice. This ice chest I used came with four cup holders, which I drilled four holes into. This one's a tube that runs that way, that blows out air. And this is where the tubes come in, a convenient point. This is the fan I'm using for the hydronic cooling component and this is a cylindrical performance radiator with quarter inch barb fittings for the plum that dips into the water to transfer the heat into water. Because many times you'll be in a hot environment even in a swampy place like Florida and the water will be cooler, much cooler if not downright cold. And you can use this contraption to set yourself up for a cool, have a cool space, whether you're camping or having a steel tent like a cargo trailer or a van. Anyway, I'm just ready for the first ever demo. You are going to be seeing it in action at the same time I am. And so, time to put some water in. This is version 1.0. This is the first build. And if it fails, you're gonna be seeing it fail with me. have that pour in. I can already start the pumps. Start the flow before I start the fan. Never have to it's the first time filling it up for me. Gotta twist this wire really quickly and So the water in this one's already flowing through. And you can see the bubbles. This is a return line. The plum here is full. 
So a very quick action. Now, my first demonstration is going to be in hydronic mode. This is for when you're in a humid environment like Florida and you need the water to be in a closed loop so to get an air conditioning like effect. I don't have a, a thermostat that I can measure the, the temperature of the water. I don't know if it's just the fan or not. There's no ice in here, so I don't know if it's going to be cool enough. But you can see the water is flowing through. And not yet. Since you're not going to be feeling the the cool and the temperature in the room that I'm in, it's hard to you can't really send over the net. I'll put it into evaporative cooling mode and hopefully that net splashing is temporary. just like this kind of pump and this is the inlet this is the outlet the intake is used by I put three 8 inch tubes into a, a sock so that it would get, act as an intake filter I, that way I do not clog up the pumps or cause any difficulty with the pumps ensuring long life The last feature that I included in this hydronic system is a tube. I pull cool air underneath the, under the covers. So if you're in a tent and you can put this in the sleeping bag and experience air circulation, which really goes a long way towards improving comfort at a camp. The tubes are running back to normal. I just took their intakes out. I don't know what's going on in there, but I think this concludes the test that I am running. Okay, this is Seth Must CS, all-in-one hydronic system, never before seen on the internet. Bye.